Vuforia Studio has many options to track an AR experience, ensuring the spatial elements of the 3D models match those of the environment. An area target allows you to create an immersive AR experience within an existing space. It uses a scan of the surrounding environment to track your experience, allowing users to navigate through the area while interacting with AR augmentations. It is useful when you want to use AR on stationary objects located within a specific environment, or to place models in certain spaces relative to their surroundings. If you want to use an area target, you will first need a scan of your environment. This can be done with an iOS device equipped with LiDAR, or with a supported Matterport, Leica or Navviz camera. For a list of supported devices, consult the link provided in the description. Today, we'll just look at using an iPad Pro to create the area target. To do this, you'll need to create a Vuforia Enter Developer account. A link to set one up can be found in the description. On your iOS device, download the Vuforia Creator app. Within the Vuforia Creator app, tap the green icon to capture an area. Follow the instructions on screen to scan your area. Generating a good scan of your environment is key to authoring a well-made AR experience. Make sure your space is free from any clutter and unwanted items before starting your scan. Before you scan, plan out where you will walk to maximize room coverage. See a link in the description for a guide on best practices to scanning. Once you are finished scanning the area, tap the stop icon to finish the scan. Enter the name for your area target and tap generate. To save the scan as a target area, you will need to log in with your Vuforia Engine Developer account. Once saved, you can now share your area target back to the device you are working with Vuforia Studio on. You should be expecting a zip file. Back in Vuforia Studio, drag and drop an area target onto your 3D canvas. In the Details pane, click on the Add button and select the zip file of the area target you've generated previously. If loaded successfully, you should be able to see your scanned area target in your 3D canvas. In the Details pane, there is a checkbox for showing the 3D model in the preview. This is useful if we wish to preview the experience from a first-person perspective. Occlusion is useful if we have many objects and want to avoid superimposing models on top of each other. You can use Area Navigation Mode to help navigate through your area target. This button can be found at the top of the canvas. When activated, you can use the W, A, S, D keys to move around the space, Q, E, R, F to rotate, and X and Z to move up and down. These buttons also work in preview mode. With the area target created, you can now author the rest of your AR experience as normal. We would like to locate our 3D printer on this desk here, and we will position it like so. Once you are happy with your experience, you can preview and then publish it. After you publish your experience, you can open it up with Vuforia View. When the screen says trying to locate your location, go into your area target and move the camera around slowly to track the surroundings. Once tracked, your experience should load. You can walk around slowly and see your objects placed within the environment. Now you can use our other Vuforia Studio videos to create AR content inside of your area target.